Today we're going to be talking about the best AI web scraper. And by the best, I mean the number one product of the week on Product Hunt and the number one product of the week for artificial intelligence. It has a ton of positive reviews and that's why I wanted to try this out. I have seen a lot of YouTubers covering this and I wanted to try it out for myself as well. So that's why in this video today, we're gonna be testing out chat for data and I'm gonna be as thorough as possible with the test. So with that said, let's jump into the test. Hi and welcome back to Skill Curve. This is your host Shamriz and we're finally getting started with the video. So setting up chat for data is really simple. All you have to do is click on add to Chrome. This should open up your Chrome web store from where you can just add this to Chrome with a simple click. That's how simple it is to set this up. Now, while this is being set, I want to talk about the pricing factor for chat for data. So you can see that you can try chat for data on Chrome and it's free. But if you go all the way down to the FAQs, you can see that to new users, they give 1 million free tokens to test out chat for data. And after that, you can top up with just $1 per million token, which is really, really cheap. This is basically completely free, I would say. So there you go, it is installed. So let's get started with our testing part right now. So for the first test, I'm gonna be scraping all the data from this page. By the way, he's a great content creator. So let's actually go ahead and try this out. So in my extensions tab, you can see that I have chat for data. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that. And you must have an account with chat for data otherwise you will not be able to log in with that so there you go we have 1 million free credits these are the free tokens and i can add credits one dollar for one million credits so let's actually go ahead with the test so here what you need to do is click on extract data from the current web page and it will start analyzing the data on this web page and it will automatically give us fields that we can actually go ahead and scrape so there you go once it has actually analyzed the whole page whether you want to extract data from the content which is everything on the web page, or you want to extract the data from the navigation bar or from the footer. So yes, I want it to be the content. There you go. Now it's going to analyze the content part, which is this part here. So after analyzing the content part, it has given me the list of available data fields, like the playlist cover, playlist name, video count, likes count, and video link. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all the playlist names and I'm going to grab all the video counts and like counts but i do not need the video link so i'm going to delete this and i do not need the playlist cover as well so deleting that as well and we will be talking about a custom field later on in this video but for now i'm just going to go ahead and say confirm selection here and now again it's going to start scraping data for the fields that we have selected so there you go we have all the data right over here which is really great i can either extract three pages ten pages or even 10,000 items but let's go ahead with only one page here so I'm gonna go ahead and say extract one page because we do not have the option of one page predefined here so that's why we have to write it right here and hit enter and that's how simple it is to use chat for data right you're gonna chat with the data and it's gonna scrape everything for you so so there you go it has everything ready for me now it just wants me to start the extraction so if i click start extract it's going to start the extraction and give me an exportable file that i can actually go ahead and download in the meantime you can see that it's doing auto scrolling and auto reloading to actually scrape all these data fields that we want which is really great so there you go we have all the data ready and now i just want to export this data so click on export data and there you go i have the daily page right here and if I open up this Excel sheet, so let me zoom in a bit, expand this so you can see the playlist name, the playlist video count, and then the video likes count, which is really, really great. This is how we can actually scrape data and put this data to work and like someone's TikTok or YouTube channel. And this is a really great example of that. So this was our first test scenario. Now let's move to the next one, which is actually scraping data from Amazon. Now for Amazon, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in a key word here which is going to be a laptop and hit enter now i want all of these listings scraped so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say extract data from this current web page 
which is this one and it's going to start analyzing this page this is the best part about chat for data wherever or whichever web page you're on you can just pull up this extension and ask it to extract data from that web page just mind-blowing easy and cheap all the problems solved with one product so we have analyzed the web page now we can extract data from the listing which is right here from the sidebar which is right here all these filters or from the footer which is right here so i'm gonna go with the list because i want to scrape the name price rating and some other stuff now it's gonna analyze which kind of data fields we have for each item on the list. so it's fetching dummy data for one item and then it's going to determine which data fields do we have so we have all of these data fields available so we have a field for bought in past month product title that's what i'm gonna keep i'm not gonna be keeping this bought in past month for the product image URL. i'm gonna keep it for rating yes rating count yes price yes delivery date I am not concerned with that and more buying choices price no i do not want that these are the things that i want i want the product title product image url rating rating count and price this is more than enough for me to determine what is the actual price range for the laptops that i'm planning to sell on amazon myself so let's go ahead and confirm the selection here and now it's going to analyze the whole chat and it's going to give me final schema of what is going to scrape and it's going to ask me how many pages does it want me to scrape so i'm going to give it at least three pages this time because i want to scrape at least a good amount of laptop data here so extract three pages and there you go we have all the data ready i can just go ahead and export the data and it will be downloaded in my local computer so there you go you can see the results right here we have the product title we have the product image url rating rating count and price so the results are quite accurate let's go ahead with the third test that we have here planned for this chat for data for the third test we're going to be scraping our own website which is skillcup.com and if you do not know what skillcup.com actually is we have ai tools ai agents ai courses ai prompts and tutorials everything set for you in one place so i'm gonna choose one of these categories let's say i want to choose this development and it category here so here you can find the best development and it ai tool and if you scroll down you can see all of these tools in different subcategories right here and their pricing as well i would highly suggest you guys to go ahead and try out skillcup.com so let's get started with the test so extract data from the current web page which is this one so there you go we have three different options so i'm gonna go with the content list here and this time i'm gonna actually test out creating a custom field and how it works so there you go we have the available data fields so yes we're gonna keep the app name we're gonna keep the description category yes price yes bookmark count i do not need that for image url let's skip that as well like count let's skip that as well but i want to keep the app URL, and i want to create a custom field just for the sake of testing and using this custom field i want to scrape the image URL just to test out whether the custom field works or not so i'm going to select this image and i'm going to name it image URL and add that so there you go we have image url let's go ahead and confirm the selection and it's going to actually start scraping now so there you go you can see the results we have all the fields that we had selected from right here and after testing chat for data for all of these scenarios i can say that it's actually worth a try and it is a very very powerful product that just came out but before saying goodbye i want to tell you guys that we have an ai prompt section where you can find inspirations for your ai generated images and even the prompts with the model used and all the parameters that you're going to need to create images like these ones with that said i want to wrap this video up i hope this video was valuable if you found this video insightful hit that like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring